Hear the words of the prophet Joel. In those days, I will pour out my spirit on all flesh, says the Lord. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, your old men shall dream dreams, and your young men shall see visions. Even on your servants, male and female, in those days, I will pour out my spirit. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. said, I say to you today, my friends, even though we face the difficulties of today and tomorrow, I still have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. The words of the prophet Micah. God has shown you what is good. And what does the Lord require of you? to act justly, and to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. Reverend King said, I have a dream that one day on the Red Hills of Georgia, the sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners will be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood. I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. The words of the prophet Amos. God says, even though you bring me burnt offerings and grain offerings, I will not accept them. Though you bring choice fellowship offerings, I will have no regard for them. Away with the noise of your songs. I will not listen to the music of your harps. But let justice roll down like waters and righteousness like an ever flowing stream. Reverend King said, I have a dream that one day little black boys and black girls will be able to join hands with little white boys and white girls as sisters and brothers. I have a dream today. The prophet Isaiah dreamed and Dr. King quoted it. One day every valley shall be exalted, every hill and mountain shall be made low, the rough places will be made plain, and the crooked places will be made straight, and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together. Reverend King said, and when this happens, when we allow freedom to ring, when we let it ring from every village and every hamlet, from every state and every city, we will be able to speed up that day when all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics, will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old spiritual, free at last, free at last, thank God Almighty, we are free at last. Paul said to the church at Ephesus, do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths, but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs, that it may benefit those who listen, get rid of all bitterness, rage and anger, brawling and slander, along with every form of malice. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgave you. Reverend King said, this is our hope. With this faith, we will be able to hew out of the mountain of despair, a stone of hope. With this faith, we will be able to transform the jangling discords of our nation into a beautiful symphony of brotherhood. With this faith, we will be able to work together, to pray together, to struggle together, to go to jail together, to stand up for freedom together, knowing that one day we will be free. Jesus said, a new command I give you, love one another as I have loved you, so you must love one another. By this, all people will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. Reverend King said, this will be the day when all of God's children will be able to sing with new meaning, my country tis of thee, sweet land of liberty, of thee I sing. Land where my fathers died, land of the pilgrim's pride, from every mountainside, let freedom ring.